Hey guys, Celine here on Grady's Mom. It's a Sunday night and I'm starting a new week of what I cooked for dinner. So tonight we are having BLTs with some pasta salad and some chips. Super easy and light dinner. It's actually a really warm, warm-ish, mild fall day. Um, so I've got my husband's or mine, the first sandwich toasting, and then the second one ready to go on this um, locally made white bread. It's really nice and hearty. And then I've got my bacon, my lettuce, and my tomato ready to go. My pasta salad that I made uh, earlier today, we're going to have just a little scoop of that and then some nice like crispy uh, chips. So again, just a really easy dinner tonight. So I'll show you how it looks. Plate it up. And if you are new here, I have an entire playlist of these what's for dinner videos that I will link in the description box down below. All right guys, we have our dinner plated up, some nice BLTs with some of the pasta salad I made earlier, and it looks really good, uh, and some of the chips. We did some Cape Cod, white cheddar, and sour cream kettle cooked chips. And again, really light and easy dinner tonight, and we will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm just getting uh, my dinner ready to go in the crock pot. This is at my white turkey goulash. I have an entire video on this, um, so if you're new or uh, you just, never saw me talk about it i'll link that video down below it's a really easy crock pot uh dish uh, i just made it up a, i don't know 10 years ago maybe and just filmed a video a couple years ago but i got all my veggies in it's got all different things peppers celery carrot um zucchini some beans some cabbage um so i just stirred in a little bit of broth i'm gonna need a little bit more um i've got my spices here i've got oregano i've got bay leaves I'm gonna throw in a little 21 uh, seasoning salute, some black pepper, and then I also need some garlic. And then I've gotta get more broth and my turkey in. So I'll show you what it looks like before I set it and forget about it. All right guys, so I got all my seasonings in, my turkey meat in, put a little more chicken broth in. This is such a good dish. Every time I make this, I'm like, why do I not make this? Because this has been on my meal plan on and off for like two months and I just haven't gotten around to making it. It was always either I didn't have turkey, I didn't have cabbage, like it was always I was missing like a key ingredient. So now I have everything. It's gonna be good, six hours on low, serve it over pasta. Of course you guys will see it later, but yeah, definitely try this out if you are a fan of ground turkey. I'll leave it in the description box down below. Okay guys, so the white turkey goulash came out good as always. Uh, this is Matt's plate, I put some uh, shredded Parmesan cheese on top of it. And I'm gonna do the same on mine. Uh, there's a little pasta on the bottom. It's probably hard to tell from this angle, but there's some little uh, ditalini pasta on the bottom. I did the ditalini separate, and it's just the way we have it. It's just a really hearty, nice, and pretty healthy, actually, uh, dish. So once again, I'll leave this recipe linked down below. But this is our dinner tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow. Alright guys, I've told you about these um, this marinade before. It's the Baja Citrus. Obviously, if you're new, you might not have seen it, but I discovered this, I don't know, a handful of months ago. Our friend Justin told us about it, and it's excellent. Um, and it's really easy. It's just a dry mix, um, and you add water, uh, vegetable oil, and vinegar. And I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs in here. Um, I'm not a huge white meat eater um, as far as chicken, so I really like thighs. I think that they're really meaty um, and just really flavorful. So I've got the four thighs in here, and I'm actually doing this the night before. 
um, because I like a nice like 24 hour marinade on these. So I have this all ready to go. It's going to marinate overnight. I just moved it around a little bit and it'll be dinner for tomorrow night. So of course you guys will see it tomorrow. All right guys, 24 hours in that Baja marinade. This is how they look. Um, I always pour the extra marinade over top. It smells so good. So I'm just preheating my oven. I'm gonna go ahead and get these in with some roasted potatoes and I think I'm gonna do some corn tonight. All right guys, so the chicken is done. It's out of the oven. I spooned a little bit of the extra marinade on top. Some nice roasty potatoes and some corn. So I'm having one larger thigh and some taters and corn and Matt's having two of the smaller thighs. And I actually have a thigh left, boneless, skinless thigh that I'm gonna chop up and make a nice salad tomorrow for Matt. I'm gonna put some on top of a, like a toss salad. So yeah, this is dinner tonight and we will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so you've probably guessed we're having enchiladas for dinner if you guys saw me make them. So I've got my tray ready. It's about 3.30 right now. Um, so I don't have to pop these into the oven for like another hour, hour and a half. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and make them because I have to run out right now, pick up Grady. And then in a couple hours, uh, Justin will come over. My husband will be home and... Uh, we're going to have enchiladas tonight with some kind of rice. So this is one of my go-tos. I've talked about these for years on my channel. I make these probably about once a month, sometimes maybe every six weeks, but it's definitely one of my go-to, like top five tried and true recipes. I use the recipe right on the old El Paso can, excuse the dirty can, but I use the can, or I use the recipe right on the can. This is just the regular red enchilada sauce. I've used it for years. It's foolproof. Everybody loves when I make these and they're just really good. So of course I'll show you later when it's all plated up. Hey guys, for dinner tonight we are having the enchiladas. So Justin's over, so this is my plate. This is like a queso rice by Noor on the Noor side. So it's just really easy to cook up in like 10 minutes. So we're all having the rice and the enchiladas. And this is our dinner tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. So for dinner tonight, we went to my mom's. She made a beautiful tossed salad and a big pot of homemade marinara sauce with beef and pork short ribs. And it was absolutely delicious. We also had some delicious crusty bread. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, we are having some mini little uh, pulled pork sliders. I made a big batch of pulled pork for our food prep this week. So these are just little tiny, um, like mini little slider buns and some crispy crown tater tots. I have some ketchup here I'm gonna put on. Some green giant broccoli cheddar, like a little steamer pack. Some leftover um, jalapeno cheddar bacon wrapped things from football. And I'm gonna have some grapes as well. I cut up a bunch for food prep and I just felt like having them with dinner. So I'm having two sliders and Matt's having three. And this is our dinner tonight. Hey guys, so I'm just about to start dinner. Tonight I'm doing like sort of like a Philly cheesesteak type of thing. So I've got this really paper thin shaved steak. I have a little low sodium Worcestershire sauce um, that I poured on top, just tossed it around a little. I've got my peppers and my onions uh, sliced up. I'm gonna fry these up with a little bit of EVOO salt and pepper. I've got my fresh like sub rolls. I'm gonna slice them and I'm gonna put some melted cheese on top. And then I'm also gonna make these um, potato and cheese pierogies tonight. So it's gonna be really good. I love making like hot sandwiches um, for dinner. I think next week, I think I'm gonna freeze some of these. Um, I have some in this bag and I think next week one night I'm gonna do some meatball parmesan subs with these i just love making like hot sandwiches for dinner it's so good but anyways gonna get these going now
guys, so here is how the uh, Philly cheesesteaks came out. I toasted the rolls and then I put some melted cheddar cheese um, on them when they were in the oven, or melted some cheese on them when they were in the oven. I put some of this um, jalapeno aioli on mats. Mine's just plain because I like it just to taste the flavors of the uh, peppers and onions. And then we have five of these pierogies. They are small. Um, if they were the normal size, like Mrs. T's pierogies, we probably have like three to four. But these are pretty small. So I just cut the sandwiches in half. They look really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's What's for Dinner. Once again, as a reminder, I have an entire playlist of these videos from over the years that I'll link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.